Weston, Dada. Dada. <laughs> you so big, beautiful. I am also never wrong with genders. I will be very surprised if I am. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. We got lots going on. Vlogmas is basically canceled. We'll talk about that later in today's video. But first, we have a lot going on with the house. We're gonna move around the living room. Hopefully it even works, it might not. I'm gonna paint the backsplash in our kitchen. And Grant's gonna start a new project for our TV center. So we have a lot of house stuff going on. We'll probably hang picture frames, get a lot of stuff done today. So I want to take you guys along that journey. And also my belly is finally showing. For sure, like it's the morning time. So it went from like literally nothing to two nights. The belly just popped at night. And now like belly is here and proud to be here. I have, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I have felt the baby too at 14 weeks. Um, I absolutely felt baby, I know 100%. So, let's get started. Move the couch first. Just, yeah, get the, the couch moved and we'll just use that in the camp center as like a reference for now. You are so beautiful. I gave you full permission. And it's time to go outside so we can do big boy things. Hey buddy. When I first redid our living room, I was gonna vlog it and I never got around to it. Are my black shoes over there? What? Are my black shoes over there? Yes, your black shoes over I vlogged getting the couches from Wayfair, so I'll link that um, before everything happened with Wayfair, obviously. But I never ended up vlogging, like actually redoing the living room, so now I'm actually gonna take you guys along. And I did a um, house tour when like that old couch was in and stuff, I believe, like. And I never ended up posting it. Grant's right, it's not near as bad as we thought it would be under there. But look at like the grout color and then what it is. So I'm gonna try to clean that. Whenever I do the cushions, he never gets up on the couch. He'll just be nosy at first, but he'll be fine. What, baby? What do you want me to do? You're getting stressed. Plans are changing because we moved around this i didn't even think the christmas tree's in the way and this huge presents in the way so i wanted him to open it christmas morning but i told him i cannot help him move it and i don't even think he can move it at all so he's gonna have to open it which really sucks because it's not christmas morning and i want him to be excited it's a good gift i never am good at gifts but i got a good gift this is really not turning out to plan I never need to try to do a good Christmas gift again. Yeah. Liar. <laughs> I knew that's what I was. I knew it. Do you like See it? See you when I come home. If you don't I want it, it, you can return it and no, get I something like else. Seven inches off the ground? Yeah. Okay. And then, and we said a foot and a half, so, um, Seven and then plus. one, two, three, four, five, six. So the top of it would be at 25 okay. inches. Yeah. And then you said six inches to the TV. Yeah. So 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 31. And then do you want to see if it was like the same or shorter to the TV? Shorter? Very much up. You going to help us build? We're going to make the best thing ever. You see Dada? You say dada? Dada, dada. You say dada. What's in dada? Dada, dada. <laughs> You're dada, so big, dada. beautiful. <laughs> you goofy. Grant's finding a stud finder for the putting the TV up. <laughs> I am yours, I am yours, do what 
Listen, Dada. Dada. Spicy cheese curds. A barbecue chunk for a barbecue chunk. More barbecue chunks. These smell so good. I love the tree in the corner there, but it's not gonna work next year. Um, Wesson has to be in that because we have a lot of stuff he can get into out. Like drills and bits and all that. How's the balls? Oh, they're good. Them good balls? Good courage. Those are really good, holy shit. They're nothing like what we ate the other night. I really like it here. It's like really quaint and cozy. I'm gonna take those down. I think I'm gonna do like a little, really skinny entry table, but I still don't know. I like that it's really open. I don't want anything really on the wall. Just maybe two leading picture frames, as I'm thinking. If you haven't tried these, reasons. find them. Gives you reasons to eat them. I know it's really small, but we love it. Like I wish that Christmas tree could be there every year, but. And I wouldn't have this here if the Christmas tree was gonna stay, but hey. the Christmas tree will go. What? What? The Christmas tree will go, and then we're gonna have, about starting here, a floating shelf of pine, so like the really light wood. Be from up here to somewhere in the tree. Like, yeah, halfway in the tree. So we did like a foot each way beside, the, beside that. Yep, and it's gonna float like that. And then we're gonna do like a light strip down at the bottom. And it's gonna be perfect. I have something big to end this vlog, guys. There's something a little bit big. There's a girl that guessed my pregnancy right with Wesson. So I don't believe in like, what would it be like? Superstitions? I don't know, I'm not a superstitious, I shouldn't say I don't believe in it, I'm just not a superstitious person myself. But this girl, there's three of us that were pregnant all at the same time with Wesson, like two months apart. And, um, she guessed the first two correct and their um the ring test on their belly said the same thing like the ring test said girl she had a girl said boy she had a boy and this girl guessed the correct gender both times for me um my ring test said girl and she didn't care she guessed boy and i was like do you like right away she knew like right when i asked her she had an answer and she said boy and i was like okay do you know my ring test says girl and their ring tests were right and she said i don't care you're having a boy like i feel that and so i've been wanting to ask her this time but i know she mentioned like maybe sometimes she can't like sense it or like she needs to be in person so i just texted her and because and why i decided i wanted to text her i've been wanting to but a subscriber messaged or dm'd me and said I have no idea why, but I've had dreams the last three nights that you're having a girl. And I was like, OMG. And she said, I've never in capital letters, I am, I am also never wrong with genders. I'll be very surprised if I am. Every single person I know, I've just felt the gender and I've had dreams about a few of my friends being pregnant and it being true. I'm like a psychic, I swear, LOL. And then she sent like a few more things I need to read. But then I'm like, okay, I need to send, like ask Jamila, like what, or oh. I'm saying her name wrong, but like ask her what she thinks my gender is. And, um, and so I just sent that screenshot of our text conversation to the subscriber and she just said, what? Okay, if it's not a girl, then the universe is playing games. Okay, I need to tell Grant um, what Jamila said. She hasn't guessed anyone's second baby, so she said she could be wrong. But do you want to know what she said with me? Yeah. All right. Girl. Yeah. Ha <laughs> You're having a girl. I didn't do it from day one. You're having a girl. Shut up. Okay, so she said, hey, I'm, get I'm thinking girl, but I haven't guessed a lot of second babies, and I'm pregnant at a loss for my own, blah, blah, blah. And she just went like that. So it could be flipped, and it doesn't mean anything, but two people that have guessed gender is right a lot of saying girl. We finally have it clean. I think I showed you it already. I'm just sitting 
I'm catching up on some DMs on Instagram here. Um, it'll be fun to also, like, because that's what you guys will see now when I sit down. So it'll be fun to decorate that back there. But hope you guys no, enjoyed. Geez. It was super fun. I wanted to get a thumbnail at the, like, lumber store, and I never did. And I never painted the backsplash, and I never cleaned the grout. So that will literally be in, like, my next video or the next one mm -hmm. after that. Murdered. It'll be very soon. And sorry. Oh, I was gonna talk to you guys about Vlogmas. Okay. Sorry about Vlogmas. I really wanted to do it. I've always wanted to do Vlogmas. It is a lot of freaking work. Maybe next week, next year, I need to do like the 12 days of Vlogmas or something. Um, I did pretty good there the first week and then I dropped off. But my family definitely always comes first. And, um,. I don't know. I haven't been placing like 100% the most huge importance on YouTube, if I'm being honest. Um, but I obviously will always post. And I'm always going to be here. But it just, it doesn't make hardly jack squat money-wise, like monetarily. And um, I'm just being honest with that. And I don't want to rush content out and stress over getting content out. And for nothing, basically and not for nothing because money isn't why i do it but basically i don't want to run myself dry and not be able to enjoy my family it's, you know so i want to always enjoy doing youtube and love doing youtube so i don't take that away and i have had times where i'm like rushing content and it's just like not making it fun for me um yeah and like this weekend i simply it was weston's first christmas yesterday with grant's family and um i don't really vlog around them and i just wanted to enjoy christmas and then i wanted to enjoy grant this weekend honestly and sometimes i don't want the camera out so it is hard when i like filming my life but also i do want my life you know and some nights i'm literally just on the floor cuddling barrett and i don't want you guys don't want to watch a 20 minute video of me cuddling Barrett, but yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do after this and hang out with them. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support and everything. I still will, tr I don't know, I'm still going to be posting like two times a week at least, but I definitely failed Vlogmas this year and maybe next year I'll do better, but I'll have like, I'll have a six month old. So.